The Voyager 1 spacecraft, which has been traveling through space for more than 40 years, has made an important announcement during its trajectory. Beyond its initial mission, it has exceeded all expectations, as it was expected to last only five years. Now Voyager 1 has detected the presence of 300 unknown objects passing through space. This discovery has completely changed our understanding, as these objects have been found to be plasmas from giant star explosions that occurred millions of years ago. Join us on this journey through the cosmos to find out what these objects discovered by the Voyager 1 are all about. Unlike previous years when we were only able to analyze data within our solar system, thanks to the innovation provided by Voyager, we now have access to data beyond it. In August 2012, Voyager 1 officially showed the verge of the solar system by crossing the heliopause. However, this milestone was not easy to achieve. As the probe moved farther and farther away from the sun, the amount of solar light available to power instruments and systems significantly decreased. The spacecraft's power is generated primarily from three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which convert the heat produced by the natural breakdown of plutonium-238 into electricity. As the heat output of the thermoelectric generators has decreased over time, the available power has decreased, affecting the operation of several onboard systems, including scientific instruments, data transmission, and communications. To conserve energy, non-essential systems and instruments have been removed, disabled, or placed in a dormant state. As power continues to decline, it will be necessary to optimize or shut down Voyager's critical systems to prolong its operational life. In its current state, it will not operate for much longer. Even so, it remains valuable to us. However, the great distance between Voyager 1 and Earth presents a significant challenge to maintaining effective communication. As the spacecraft ventures into interstellar space, Voyager's signal strength has weakened. It takes more than 21 hours for signals to travel from Voyager to Earth. The weak signal, combined with interference from background noise, makes it difficult to transmit and receive data. Additionally, the temperature transition from the heliosphere to interstellar space exposes Voyager 1 to different thermal conditions. In the heliosphere, the spacecraft was closer to the sun and experienced high temperatures, whereas when entering interstellar space, it faces extremely low temperatures. The Voyager 1 probe is equipped with detectors specifically designed to measure the density of interstellar dust in deep space. However, communication with Voyager 1 has become more difficult due to limited resources. NASA's global antenna system is expected to have fewer opportunities to receive the mission signals, resulting in less frequent communication. Despite this, a fascinating discovery recently emerged. In the midst of data stream, Voyager 1 detected an intriguing anomaly, the presence of 300 unknown objects passing through interstellar space. This discovery has perplexed scientists around the world. It challenges our understanding of the cosmos. Are these objects remnants of ancient celestial bodies, drifting by relics of distant star systems, or the existence of previously unknown phenomena? Although the information transmitted by Voyager can usually be easily deciphered, in this case, the data were encrypted raising many questions but few answers. Strangest of all, however, is that despite the peculiar nature of the data, Voyager 1 appeared to be functioning smoothly. Its communication link with Earth remained intact, and the signal remained strong, allowing valuable information to reach NASA without much trouble. Interestingly, none of the ship's protection systems were activated, indicating that there was no immediate threat. This rules out a possible attack, so what could be causing the telemetry data to appear scrambled or inaccurate? Could it be the result of interference from cosmic phenomena such as radiation or high-energy particles? Or is it possible that we are dealing with a completely unknown phenomenon that defies our understanding of space? The only way to obtain certainty was to conduct a meticulous analysis of a wide range of possibilities. The NASA research team thoroughly analyzed the systems, taking into account the impact of cosmic radiation on the electronics and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting their sensitive instruments. There was a possibility that something was happening just before Voyager entered the heliosphere, and that natural changes in its path would create problems in data transmission. However, Voyager 1 was not exactly in the area where these natural changes were concentrated enough to cause those problems, so that did not appear to be the answer. The team also investigated the complexities of Voyager 1's communication systems, exploring possible distortions caused by cosmic noise interference or even subtle changes in its trajectory. The search for answers led to a meticulous analysis of all these potential factors. The spacecraft systems were examined, 
Considering the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting its sensitive instruments. However, while it might sound like a simple task of checking boxes on a list, in reality, there was a lot of work to be done. Therefore, this investigation was not instantaneous but dragged on for weeks. The team advanced data processing techniques, innovative algorithms, and ran simulations of various scenarios to identify the root cause of the unusual anomalies. At the time, this was the only way to discover what was causing the problems, and all that effort was not in vain. After months of receiving encrypted data from the spacecraft, scientists and engineers were finally able to restore clarity and reliability to the information coming from the far reaches of interstellar space. The cause of the problem was traced back to Voyager 1's attitude articulation and control system OX, especially an onboard computer that was supposed to be inactive. Surprisingly, it was discovered that the OX had begun using the computer despite not being operational for years, leading to corruption of the transmitted data. However, the rest of the spacecraft remained operational and continued to collect data. Engineers acted quickly and sent a command to Voyager 1 instructing the OX system to shift to the correct computer to transmit the telemetry data. Although the solution was low risk, it required a great deal of patience because of the significant delay caused by the distance between Earth and Voyager 1. Radio signals take nearly 22 hours to travel back and forth, so the troubleshooting process required careful coordination. However, there was only one problem to consider. Voyager 1 had been built decades ago and had been performing excellently up to that point. Therefore, finding a solution to current problems would be a major challenge. It was necessary for them to review several manuals from the 1970s SADI, and that is exactly what they did. After careful examination, they found a simple solution to the problem by restoring the system responsible for data transmission. In this way, they managed to fix the problem without affecting any other part of the ship. The experience and dedication of the engineering team played a crucial role in restoring clarity to Voyager 1's communications. Their efforts underscored the importance of leveraging past knowledge and combining it with current technology to meet the challenges of space exploration. Engineers suspect the deviation in the use of the non-operational computer by Voyager 1 was triggered by a faulty command received from another onboard system. This hypothesis suggests an underlying problem in the spacecraft's intricate computer network. Mission managers remain cautiously optimistic and emphasize that this incident does not pose a threat to the long-term well-being of Voyager 1. The spacecraft corrected the error and continued with its mission right after the correct computers came back online. Thank you very much for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.